And set on your sides, Brett Hall joins us live now with a local reaction to the race projection. Hey, Brett. Kayla, no large gatherings like those you just spoke about that we know of here in Hampton Roads or in Northeast North Carolina, but there is going to be a small gathering of those with uh, the Hampton NAACP and other Democrats uh, right now over here at Bowman's Soul in the Wall. But and a lot of those people, they've been behind the former vice president, now president-elect, since the primary process. Remember, Biden made a campaign stop to Hampton Roads at Booker T. Washington in Norfolk back in March around the time when it was even questionable if he would receive the nomination at all. He told the crowd gathered there that day that they could help be the launching pad to, quote, beat Donald Trump if they voted for him. What feels like a lifetime later, that's now happened. And former Governor Terry McAuliffe, who's been a part of the campaign, says he's confident that even those who voted against Biden will grow to appreciate his leadership. He's a very bipartisan. He will work with anyone. He's beloved by many Republican senators. We've got to stop the fighting. We've got to come together to deal with COVID, to rebuild an economy, fix our education system. And, and he'll do that. He has a history doing it. But everybody just settle down and let's work together to make this a better country. Of course, settle down, as some may know, is not always the best thing to say when people are angry. And Republicans that I've spoken with, they still are. They say there's still a lot longer to go in this. And yes, it's true that even in Virginia, the election isn't certified yet. The results are still unofficial. We'll bring you more context and analysis on that when you join us tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11. For now, live in Hampton, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.